One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Okay. Woo. Walk that off and all Listen right. Fast. Ashley's gonna talk to us about the value of uh, lean muscle mass. Ready and you're on the clock. Okay, first I have to tell you that we all start losing muscle mass at age 30 because all of our body's processes start slowing down. So we naturally lose muscle as we age. That's called sarcopenia, kind of like osteopenia or osteoporosis, which is for bone. Sarco is for muscle. So we start losing naturally as we age. The two things we have to do to combat that is make sure we eat extra protein because we need more as we get older because our body doesn't work so well. So we need more to do the same job it would when we're younger. The other thing is we have to do strength training like boot camp because if you don't use it, you definitely lose it. And you're losing it naturally, so you have to do something to combat that. Because if we lose muscle mass, it increases your risk for infection. Uh, that's why so many older COVID patients are dying, more older than younger, because they don't have lean body mass. It increases your risk of death, increases your risk of falls, it increases your risk of infection you have longer stays in the hospital, it's really hard for you to recover. So what we have to do is build extra muscle mass now to help us in case of an emergency. Because what's even worse than losing it as we get older, if we get sick, ill, or have any kind of injury, your body speeds up, your metabolism speeds up, and how quickly you break down your muscle speeds up intensely. So a normal college age person would lose about 2% for a month of bed rest. And a healthy elderly person would lose 10% in only 10 days. But if you get hospitalized and you're older, you lose 10% in only three days. And if you lose just 10%, you have that decreased immunity, increased risk for infection, your risk of dying is 10%. If you lose 20%, your risk of dying is 30%. If you lose 30%, your risk of dying is 50%. And if you lose 40% of your muscle, no matter your age, you die. So you have to have extra muscle in order to be healthy. But more importantly, if you don't have muscle mass, it is very hard to be independent. And that's why so many people end up in long-term care because they can't do things for themselves. They think that's a normal part of getting older, but it all has to do with them losing that muscle mass. So build up that muscle mass so you can be independent for as long as possible. And this is one of the ways to do it right here. Man, man. Ooh, how about that? That was that was pretty good. That's worth the price of admission Ooh. right there. So and and you did that in just over, just barely over two minutes. So that's the value. Uh, besides the vanity part, we all want to look as best as nope, we as we can. But it's not about vanity anymore. Particularly, it's not about vanity during COVID. Who am I trying to impress? I mean, we don't want someone to have to help us eat. We don't want someone to have to help us in the bathroom. Ooh, no, so no, no. you need that muscle mass in order to be able to sell, to push yourself up out of a chair, to open jars, to do all that kind of stuff. So you have to have that muscle mass and lifting weights is the only way that you can do that. You right. have to lift weights. Right. And so uh, what gave rise to this was the number of people that I've seen uh, lately on social media that have been posting before and after pictures that they've lost weight. F fine. That losing weight is is a difficult thing to do sometimes and keeping it off is even more difficult. But if they lose in, it without doing strength training. In every case that I've seen, the person has also lost uh, lean muscle mass. Absolutely. And, and you would see that in, in their face, you would see that in their arms and see that in, in their legs. And then they would even say, well, now that I've lost this much weight, I'm gonna try and start doing some exercise now. And I thought, no, oh my to goodness, do it from the beginning, from the, because how, you know, you've lost muscle mass is you feel weak, you feel tired. That's what happens. to a lot of people that are going through cancer therapy or other things, they feel weak and tired. They think it's the illness, but it's really that they have lost that muscle. And so if you're trying to lose weight, you must do strength training. So you do not lose your muscle mass because it is critical for your survival. That is and right. It makes a huge difference. Huge All right, difference. ladies and gentlemen, that is gold right there. 